in the last class we had discussed about what is a fragment and we started a program which explains or demonstrates uh, how uh, an activity can embed some fragments inside the same activity okay uh, and i think what we did was a simple calculator explaining how uh, one activity can hold four fragments okay out of which uh, in the last class we had only done one uh, fragment or one frame i'll be doing the remaining three also in this class and we'll complete this lab record number two okay so um, first thing i'm, I'm going to repeat is what is a fragment a fragment is a small reusable portion of the ui okay uh, one activity can have multiple fragments embedded in it that one fragment can be reused multiple times in multiple activities okay so it's like a small piece of uh, ui which is reusable okay we are given some examples with respect to that uh, uh, the the whatsapp window your google play window uh, and then yesterday i had given an example of advertisements which are coming in all the uh, activities of a particular game or a particular uh, app okay it's just part of the app but then it is repeated in all the pages you visit in that particular app that's a fragment okay it's called an ad fragment but anyway so yeah i hope you understood what is the fragments idea so uh, in order to explain an a fragment uh, the program what i am right now doing is like a hello world for fragments because i'm not doing much i'm just uh, taking value from the activity uh, when you click on the button i'm passing it to a fragment and i'm only doing some operation in the fragment and uh, we are displaying it only in the fragment and then later what i am doing is when you click on the button i am trying to call that fragment an object of this fragment into this activity and add it to my frame layout okay so that the frame layout in my activity this one okay holds or embeds or we can say it uh, it brings the uh, the fragment in this particular location and you are able to see the uh, output Okay, so that's what we did yesterday. Now, uh, before I even proceed with this, okay, I want to fix some issue which might be coming later. Right now, this code is enough, guys. What I've written here, you can see that uh, I've written three lines of code. That's more than enough. But uh, it is not recommended in a scenario where uh, you see every time you click on the button, what happens is uh, a new fragment is getting generated. Okay, we are creating a new fragment and we are uh, sending the arguments and then we are uh, adding a new fragment on top of this particular frame layout okay which is not a good practice because uh, let's say for example if i put 2 plus 2 then i put 2 plus 3 uh, whenever i change the value a new fragment is getting created and it is just getting added to that frame without even removing the old one okay that's why i kept the name as new here so let me just show you how uh, we can make it a little bit more professional before i uh, proceed with the next step okay now i also wanted to remember that this is enough this is this is working i showed you yesterday this is a working code but to make it a little bit more professional a uh, little little bit more uh, what do you call optimal okay i'm going to change this code into uh, two things okay the, just a simple if else condition all right just understand what i'm trying to do here uh, first before that let's understand these three lines what are you doing i'm creating a new object of this fragment why because fragment is basically a class so if it's a class i cannot directly call it so what am i doing i'm creating a new object of that particular class all right and then i am passing arguments to that particular object because once i create an object i need not bother about the class anymore but to focus on that particular object and then send the arguments as bundle so as soon as this fragment has been uh, initialized on create will be called right so on create immediately on create view uh, you are going to get the arguments and do this operation and keep it ready okay before even i show you the output of this particular fragment okay so uh, when i come here what am I doing? I am creating or the last line, this line, I want to notice this line. I'm saying add the new object which you've created in the place of the frame layout. Okay, so that's the first time. Very simple. Uh, first time the frame layout is blank. It doesn't have any data. Now <clears throat> I am just adding this and the new one gets added. Very simple. Okay, the second time when I'm pressing what will happen, the one which I added already will remain there and I'm just keeping on adding it on top of it each other. That's not correct. Okay, so how do I fix this? Okay, all I'm going to do a simple thing. Uh, I am going to see whether a, a fragment already exists in this particular activity. An object of add fragment, if it is already available in this activity, remove it. Otherwise, add the new one. This is what I want to do. So how do I do it? Okay, very simple guys. I'm going to just add, add fragment, same class. Okay, but I'm going to name this as add fragment old. Okay, and I'm going to say is equal to 
um, I'm going to say fragment manager or uh, I think I put it as fragment manager dot. Okay, I'm going to ask the fragment manager to find a fragment by ID or by tag. Okay, I have not given an ID because I've created an object. I don't remember what is the ID of the object and also, but I've given a tag, isn't it? Here, I've given a tag. Okay, all I need to do is find that uh, fragment using this tag. Okay, there will be a, a problem because when you find the fragment, it need not necessarily be an add fragment. So typecast it. It should look something like this. Okay, what have I done? I have just said search for my page with the fragment manager with the help of the fragment manager search for a fragment with the ID of add frag tag. Okay, so when the first time you're running uh, this fragment has not been created yet. So what will this have? This will have null because I could not find that uh, fragment. So if you can't find the fragment, I can't initialize it. So this will be null. Okay, uh, I've created two things like this. Okay, and all these things are fine. But instead of adding, I'm going to put a simple if condition. What is the if condition? If add fragment old, okay, is not equal to null. What do you mean by that? Okay, I want you to understand what I've written there. Okay, so uh, I'm saying find a fragment with the ID or tag called as add frag tag. Okay, if you are able to find it, this will have something in it. It will have the reference to that particular fragment. But if it is not there, if that fragment is not there, what will happen? This will be null. So I'm saying if it is not equal to null, okay, if it is not equal to null means uh, it, something is already there. What should I do? Remove it. So call the transaction and say remove that particular fragment. So I'll say add fragment old, remove the old fragment else. In that case, what am I supposed to do? Add this fragment. That's all. I have uh, taken those three lines of code what I had written earlier and I have just uh, made it a little bit more optimal. That's all. Okay. Let's understand what I've written. First line. Okay. Just think of a scenario. First time when you're running it, very first time you're running it. Okay. Only two text boxes are there. The frame has not come yet. Okay. So when you click on uh, submit button, I am creating first line. I'm going to, uh, uh, when you click on the add button, what am I doing? First line, I am finding a fragment with the tag called add frag tag. Okay, is it created yet? No, it's not even created now. Okay, so since it is not there in the fragment manager, okay, this will be stored as null. Then second line will be executing, you're creating a new object of add fragment. Perfect. Then setting the uh, arguments for that particular fragment, this is inevitable, it will be there. Okay, then if the old fragment is not equal to null, which means something is there in that old fragment. Okay, the old fragment still exists, remove that old fragment, Okay, I hope you follow. Remove that old fragment. That's all we have told. Okay, and then in case if it's the first, I mean, if it's the second time you are running it, okay, uh, I think we can need not put an else part. We just put an if condition. I think else also is not required. Okay, we can keep something like this. If it is already there, remove it. Otherwise, add. Okay, else is also not required because it's self-explanatory there. It is compulsory to add a new fragment anyway. Okay, but if it already exists, that fragment tag already exists, just remove it, then add the new one. Okay, now think of a scenario when uh, uh, it is the first time you're executing, this fragment does not exist. Okay, the very first time you're running, this fragment does not exist. Okay, so it will it will e it will be equal to equal to null. So no removing, directly it will say add. Okay, but if it is already there, uh, something will already be there, remove that and then add the new one. That's all. I've just optimized the code a little bit. Okay. I hope this code is clear. Now moving on, let's do the remaining uh, three also guys. That's it. Uh, if you have understood this part, okay, the remaining three is not going to be difficult at all. So let me just repeat what I did yesterday and we'll try to close this particular uh, fragment. So for what am I going to do? Add, add fragment is ready. Now I'm going to the subtract fragment. So I'm going to go to the app, right click on it, new fragment, blank fragment. I'm going to choose a blank fragment. Okay, and this one, I'm gonna name it as sub fragment, subtract fragment, sub fragment. Let me click on finish. And while uh, this is happening, I also wanted to see that lot of code is getting generated there. Okay, I wanted to only keep two methods in it, remove everything. Okay, you can use these what is generated when you require them. Right now for this program, I don't need them. So I wanna remove everything else except for those two methods or so two important things, number one, is the uh, required empty public constructor. 
okay number two is on create view that's all remaining everything i'm going to remove it out okay i, I want to keep this uh, page for a second so that you know which one to keep this is a blank fragment this is what i want in a blank fragment okay which means all other methods are there for you to start developing okay with some uh, a basic structure already available okay what i am trying to do is to keep it little bit more uh, plain okay empty in the beginning so that we are developing everything from the scratch okay so here i have kept only one which is required empty public constructor second one what is written there inflator dot inflate okay it's called a layout inflator which opens a particular view okay and what does it inflate it inflates r dot layout dot fragment underscore sub what is that uh, fragment underscore sub okay it's nothing but the layout of your fragment subtract fragment okay and with the container attached to root etc etc everything is ready already okay so uh, first thing i'm going to do is you cannot just directly say return okay if you write that it will be a problem because you cannot write anything below that line of code and whatever i write here will not be um, we will not be able to get the view to which we are talking to so we divide this line into two pieces view space v is equal to whatever is here and i'll say return v that's all okay why am i writing this okay so that i have the views object the one which you are returning to the user i will have that object to manipulate the controls inside it and whatever i write here is important for me okay i have not changed the code guys i have only modified it in such a way that it will be easy for me to handle okay i hope this is clear now moving on um let me just quickly go to the design and finish that and come back to the code okay let me go to the subtract fragment design okay uh, yesterday i did this okay i'm repeating that again so that we get a uh, in familiarity here all right it's just a text view there so i'm going to click on the text view and uh, say width equal to wrap content uh, height is equal to wrap content and id i'm going to give it as lbl uh, sub result okay i've given that other one as lbl add result i guess okay so yeah lbl add result here i'm giving it as lbl uh, subtract result and i'm going to click on the frame uh, the outer the layout and i'm going to change the background color okay i'm going to give a different background color for that okay so let's give uh, green something like that okay and let me click on that text view uh, and let me bring that control to the middle okay then uh, i think i'll give some size for that let me just make it as large okay and uh, let me keep the color as black itself okay i'm not going to keep any text right now because i'm going to replace it with uh, as soon as the pre view view is opening up i'm going to replace that uh, data okay so just to see how a number will look like i'm going to remove the text from there and i'm going to put uh, some number so that i'll see how the number is okay i think i gave a bigger size here it is uh, display 3 okay so i'll use the same thing in all my uh, face okay so text appearance i'll just say display 3 okay so some number will be coming there done so this is my uh, subtract fragment let's write the code for the subtract fragment also i guess you remember what is the code we wrote for uh, addition fragment okay so same thing i'm going to do here also all right first thing let me get the values because without the values this operation itself is waste so i'm going to say bundle is equal to get arguments okay uh please remember in the main activity when you before you even call uh, the fragment or set the add the fragment you are setting the argument okay so here what am i doing i'm getting those arguments okay and then i am going to just uh, write the same code which is written here so i'm not going to uh, type it rather i'm going to copy paste it okay so uh, let me just copy paste that here same key fno sno where did i set that key it's in the main activity here fno sno all right so i've just set that and uh, let me just go, uh, get that then i want to say minus because i'm doing subtraction isn't it okay so how do i where do i set this particular value i'll set it in the text view which is there in the uh, layout this is the one which i want to set it in it is lbl sub result it's a text view so how will i call it here so let me create an object text view okay uh, i'll just say result lbl result label is equal to i can't write find view by id this is a fragment so i'm going to write v dot that view dot find view by id r dot id dot lbl subtract result done 
okay you have just found the text view now you have to set the value so i'm going to say result label dot set text okay and i'm going to pass that uh i'm not uh, rename this it's sum i'm going to put it as difference okay so i'll just say uh difference i'm putting that plus because i don't want the system to think it's just a number but rather it is a string okay tricking the system to think it is a string that's all all right so my layout or the fragment work is done now uh, i will be taking up little bit more detail into fragments later in some other program which is there in your lab list okay this is just to get the basic idea of a fragment okay now let me go back to main activity my fragment is ready all i need to do is call the subtract button okay same code as above only thing is i'm going to take it a little bit different sub fragment uh, sub fragment old is equal to okay i'm going to call the fragment manager and say find fragment by tag okay same thing i'll put but then uh, not the same please don't use the same word okay i have you have to differentiate them so i'll say subtract frag tag subtract fragments tag okay that will throw an error so let me just type cast it and the error goes off then subtract fragment let me create a new one subtract fragment new is equal to new subtract fragment done okay last one the new one uh, the new object which you have created set the arguments okay with what with the bundle which you have got all right and i'm going to keep a simple if condition there if subtract fragment old is not equal to null okay if it is already there remove it so i'm going to call transaction dot remove uh, that subtract fragment old okay otherwise what am i supposed to do transaction dot add okay first one which frame do you want to add it in i have a frame layout with the word sub okay so i'm going to call that frame layout second one which fragment this um, uh, sub fragment new that's the one which you wanted to add last one is the tag name same tag which you have given here do not be uh, careless in the spelling as well as in the uh, case it's very essential all right done so i have done the same thing or only thing is one was adding one was attracting okay so let me run the program let's see okay and one more thing i i told yesterday was this line had kept outside the switch case why because whatever you are doing with the transaction unless you write this line of code okay nothing will stick or nothing will uh, work once uh, if you have not given this word called as commit okay i hope this is clear so that's very essential for you to understand all right i think we'll wait for this to happen <clears throat> uh yesterday we had done only one today uh we are doing the remaining uh, two things also okay so i have already done add and subtract let me check what happens and then we will proceed with the remaining two operations i hope you got the flow so what i'm going to do next is the same thing but only thing is it is a divide fragment and uh, one will be called as uh, multiply fragment like that that's all okay i know that the uh, text is too big uh, for a bigger number this is only for demonstration please keep appropriate sizes for your uh, the labels which you have put in the fragment now uh, i'm going to just give some numbers okay now i want you to notice that <clears throat> when i tap on add button what is happening okay when i tap on add button or any button for that sake any of these four buttons what will happen from line number 24 to line number 31 will get executed it doesn't matter which button you have clicked on because i've kept common things on top then when it comes to add button i wanted to do something what is that find if a fragment already exists does it exist already no okay so this what will the value be in the line number 35 add fragment old will be null okay i hope you guys follow what i am doing and look at the code and as well as the working okay the very first time you are running what happens there is no frame here there is no fragment here nothing so when you are trying to search for a fragment with the name of add frag tag what will happen okay this will return null i did not find okay so this will be null then create a new object this will work because you are creating a new object then set arguments to that new object that also works okay then if old fragment is not equal to null but actually the first time when you are running it is already equal to null so i'll skip this if condition last line what i'm going to do is add that fragment 
to this particular frame so let me click on add what happens okay i get that in this particular frame okay i hope you follow now instead of five let me put three and click on add what should happen now at this scenario okay this already exists so when i search for it i will find a a, 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 a link okay or a reference to this particular place here in old so right now old is not null it has some value okay then i create a new one this these two will work either way then i come here is it equal to is it not equal to null true it has something in it so what should i do remove this fragment then add the new one so when you click on it you see there's no big difference you don't see any difference but then uh, it works efficiently and it doesn't take much memory because the old one is removed okay keep that in mind all right so that is done then let's go to the next one let me click on subtract now okay same thing but in a different fashion okay so now when i tap on subtract again i get a different idea so you get different different uh, see right now uh, it looks like one page isn't it okay this is one activity but how many pages are involved three pages are involved one is main activity dot java one is add fragment dot java subtract fragment dot java but how do you see how does the user see this he sees it as one activity okay but i have divided the work to two people now now i mean uh, shortly i'm going to make it into three or four people okay let me do that then come back to this okay so let me quickly do the remaining uh, fragments also i hope by now uh, you're familiar with what is happening so i'll quickly do it okay so let me just add a new fragment okay this fragment is for multiplying so i'll just name it as mul fragment and click on finish okay i'll remove all the other unnecessary things which are there in this fragments java code okay so i'll i'll not remove the uh, constructor please don't forget the constructor it should be there okay but i can remove everything else except for the view i want on create view okay same like how i did uh, the previous program let me just quickly do that for go to multiply okay let me just click on that uh, label i'll name it as lvl mul result okay and i'll say wrap content wrap content and uh, text let me just put uh, 254 something some number just to see how it will look like okay and then let me just give display 3 and uh, bold and black done i think that's enough but i want it in the middle of the screen so i'm going to say gravity layout gravity to be center done okay one more thing is uh, i want to give a background color so i'll click on the frame i'll give the background color okay so let's give uh, some color all right you can give a lighter color okay that i leave it up to you okay uh, that is done now let me go back to uh, the code <clears throat> and it's going to be written like this i'm going to create an object of view space v is equal to whatever you have returned and last line i'm going to say return me and inside this i'm going to write the code okay so first let me get the bundle so i think the code is same so i'm going to just copy paste it from here till here okay so let me go back to multiple fragments done okay uh, so i'm going to say product is equal to first number multiplied by second number okay now i need to find the text view so i'm going to say text view from the design so i'm going to say result uh, lbl is equal to v dot find view by id r dot id dot lbl mul result and then set the value result label dot set text okay the product first put the product uh, value there concatenate that with just open and close double quotes done Okay, so my uh, fragment part is ready. Let me go to the activity and make them call that fragment. Okay, so let me write another case now. Okay, the second case would be, or the third case would be r.id.btnmul. If you clicked on the multiply button, what am I supposed to do? Okay, I'm going to do the same thing. Mul fragment, mul fragment old is equal to uh, fragment manager dot find fragment by tag i'll be creating a uh, tag with the name mul frag tag okay you can give any name here guys okay, it's totally up to you and uh, let me type cast it 
And then let me create another mul fragment, but this is a new one. Z equal to new mul fragment. Okay, uh, I'm repeating again. You can also follow the first three lines of code what I written in the previous program. Uh, not at all a problem. Okay, this I'm making it only to make sure that it is a little bit more efficient. That's all. Okay, so I want to say mul fragment new dot set arguments to uh, the bundle which you are created in the beginning itself. Okay, then I want to give a simple if condition if mul fragment old is not equal to null which means it's already it has something in it ask the transaction to remove it first okay so remove mul fragment old otherwise transaction dot add uh, in r dot id dot fl mul the frame layout which is for multiply multiplying okay the multiplication answer i'm going to say uh, mul fragment new and then same tag name so i'm going to say mul frag tag same thing i guess yeah done and anyway commit is written outside the switch case so it will work so this is done let me just check for the third one okay so uh, every time you keep adding a new fragment it keeps uh, keeps adding to the same activity so i have only one activity right now Okay, but still I have three fragments created, which I'll be showing you shortly. All right. And uh, towards the end, I should be able to put four fragments in my one activity. Okay. Uh, these are, I mean, just a sample of how to, uh, I, the only target here is for you to understand what is a fragment. Okay. Uh, later we have, we will be looking at tab view and uh, drawer uh, layout at the bottom navigation like that. When you're looking at fragment is compulsory. Okay, so uh, that time we will see. Let me just go to 10 and 5. Okay, and I'll put add, subtract, multiply. Okay, so I've got uh, four values here. No, sorry, three. Um, only thing is I'm waiting for another one to come here. Okay, but please note what happens if I click on divide, which I've not written. Okay, I have not written anything. What will happen if I click on uh, the submit button? Okay, these things will happen. Fragment manager will get created, switch case will be ignored, transaction will be committed, which means basically nothing will happen. Do you follow what, I, what, is, what I'm saying? Okay, because uh, the switch case is the one which decides what to do if it is a specific button. For all these four buttons, this block of code will get executed. But nothing happens in the middle. The switch case is the very important part here. All right, so if you have not done anything there, nothing will happen here also. So let me quickly finish the last one also. And... Uh, will be done okay let me just add a new fragment a blank fragment this one i'm going to name it as divide fragments or div fragment fragment underscore div okay uh, same way i'm going to remove all the unnecessary things so that it looks a little bit more simpler i'll keep the uh, constructor which is required but i'll remove all the other methods except on create view Okay, let me go to the design and uh, do the same thing again. I'll put LBL divide result. Okay, and text I'll remove it and put it as some number. Okay, uh, with this wrap content, wrap content and uh, gravity is center. Okay, and uh, size of this text display three bold and black yes so that is done last one uh, just to differentiate between the color the different fragments of the fra uh, frames i'm using the background color okay so let me just change this background color to blue or something okay that's enough done okay but it is not enough right now what i've done is only created a diff fragment okay can this fragment run alone okay can i run this fragment alone somewhere and write a code no never Fragment cannot run on its own. That's the concept which we are trying to understand. Okay, so the one which you are seeing here, each fragment is running in their own life cycle. But all these three fragments are now attached to the life cycle of this activity called main activity. Okay, so if I destroy main activity, what will happen to these fragments? All fragments will die along. Okay, I hope you follow this, right? So uh, let me just quickly finish that part also in main activity. Let me add one more button. Case r dot id dot btn divide 
<coughs> same code as above guys only thing is the class name will be different the fragment old is equal to fragment manager dot uh, find fragment by tag i'll give it as div frag tag okay there'll be an error type cast it then create another object which is new object so the fragment new is equal to new div fragment div fragment dot um, new dot set arguments to that bundle which we got in the beginning and then if this div fragment old exists okay if it is not equal to null means it has something in it remove it so use the transaction to remove that old fragment and then uh, add the new fragment transaction dot add uh, in r dot id dot fl div add this div fragment which is new last one is the tag be very careful of the tag name guys don't forget it okay so that's it our work is done let me run the program and let's check if uh, we get four fragments in one activity okay now if you ask uh, where will i <clears throat> where will i be able to uh, let's say uh, change or uh, where will i be able to access these activities and uh, fragments just like uh, activity you'll be able to access fragments no big difference only thing is they cannot run on its own okay a fragment has to be embedded inside or should be uh, engulfed inside a activity so how many activities are there in this particular project one okay look at the pro project structure right now you have so many files okay but what can i say i can say very clearly that only one activity is there in my program but you see so many java files and corresponding layout files are there so what do you mean by that then okay they are nothing but uh, fragments they all these four fragments are now running as part of your uh, activity so let me just do that 15 5 i'll uh, do all the operations starting with uh, advertise i mean add okay number one subtract multiply divide uh, okay sorry i didn't text set the text okay let me just oh i didn't i didn't write anything in the fragment so let me just quickly finish this and then we'll start okay so let me just create a view object v is equal to same thing let me just cut this paste it here I'll say return V. Okay, I got one two three because uh, in the divide fragment I had given manually one two three, and uh, uh, it has just been called. Okay, it just returned the view as it is. <clears throat> so whatever view I had as it is was returned as one two three. So now I'm fixing it. <clears throat> so let me take the code uh, which is already available. So let me just take this fragment. Okay, so I got the bundle. Get the fragment. Now I'm going to say uh, result okay what is the result here first number divided by second number okay that's all and i'm going to call the text view and set it on that so i'm going to say text view uh, result lvl is equal to um, v dot find view by id r dot id dot uh, i think i put it as lbl dev result yes i'll call the result label dot set text to the result concatenate that with open and close double quote so that it doesn't think it is a resource id okay that's all now i have changed the way in which my uh, what do you call <clears throat> uh, my fragment behaves okay so earlier when i ran i just got one two three here because i had set that in the design itself but now i'm programmatically fixing it and why don't i see fragments as soon as the page loads because you have not called them okay so uh, as soon as the page loads i'm only able to see the activity i am not even seeing a frame that box also i'm not seeing here i'm not able to see anything here why am i not able to see because fragment is only executed or called on request it is not automatically executed as soon as you open your program okay only main activity gets executed automatically remaining everything has to be linked through this particular main activity so let me just quickly do this 15 5 add subtract multiply divide okay so i've got all the three into one activity guys okay so what is the benefit why do i need a fragment 
to do uh, such a kind of an activity okay <clears throat> very simple uh, the first and foremost thing is that reusability okay so once you do a particular fragment you can reuse it in different activities okay so the major advantage of um, a fragment would be where uh, see guys most of you know that um, <clears throat> the way in which people make money through the apps uh, there are a lot of ways okay uh, one of those ways is through advertisements you would have seen a lot of games which are coming for free okay uh, they get publicity through those games but then uh, a game alone just because you played the game they don't have any profit so what is their profit then the advertisements are coming so most of you would have seen in that games they say that uh, if you pay 50 rupees or like one dollar or two dollars if you pay will remove the advertisements <clears throat> okay now in order to remove the advertisement should i go to each and every uh, page or every activity which is there in my game and uh, remove the activity no uh, because that advertisement is one activity only data is coming from the internet uh, what advertisement to be shown okay so if i write that code in an activity it's very difficult for me to uh, go back and monitor it and uh, call it in each and every it's very difficult so uh, i create an advertisement as a fragment okay and put it as a placeholder in all right now for example see i could have uh, all these when i uh, let me just uh, destroy this activity and call it once again okay uh, i think it is lab record 2 did i put it as name or fragment demo okay right now i have loaded this activity okay are you able to see a fragment which is available see uh, since you know what i am doing you are aware that there are four frames here and a fragment can be loaded but think think about a normal user this is a regular page okay let's say that this is a, a an app which is in the play store here i have kept a fragment you are not able to see anything here okay but if you are not if you are using the free version of my um, app okay what can happen is i can just say show the fragment if it is a free version of my uh, app, show the uh, uh, fragment. When I show the fragment, what do you see here? You see advertisements. Okay. But what if you are using the paid version of my app? Okay. Don't show the fragment. Fragment is still there. Okay. Like just like how you see here, fragment is still there, but just don't show it. Okay. If you are paid uh, user, don't show the fragment. That's it. Okay. So keep that in mind. Uh, that's the advantage of using a fragment. First thing. Second thing, what I want to tell you is when we are working in a big team, okay uh, and you're dividing the work okay let's say that you're dividing the work of uh, uh, showing some for example most of you would have seen that uh, uh, in in let's take whatsapp as an example in whatsapp you have three tabs guys okay one is the chats one is the status okay like that you have different different ones isn't it okay so uh, these tabs what what are they useful for okay so these tabs uh, you can't ask one person to do all the three tabs isn't it so i can give uh, let's say one team take care of the chats one team take care of the statuses okay like that i can divide my work and give you okay and what am i supposed to do when i'm sub when i'm publishing this uh, app put all those things together in one activity and give it off so i will be working on one fragment okay and uh, my team will be working on another fragment but before publishing we'll be all combining it into one uh, activity and submitting to you okay that's all that's how uh, it is one more advantage of using a fragment i hope you got it right okay so uh, this is how a fragment calculator works okay i have uh, it's not about the calculator guys totally not about the calculator do not misunderstand that uh, i have given a calculator program for android no okay this program is not to demonstrate the adding subtracting dividing it's rather to demonstrate the concept of a frame layout and how a fragment works how to pass data from an activity to a fragment and get the result now uh, best example i showed you in the ppt if you remember uh, there was a small box in your geo or airtel or idea uh, when you download their app you see there is a small box which says how much data is remaining okay or uh, how much of uh, amount is remaining okay now <clears throat> uh, i have to write this code for all the users isn't it i need not bother about which user whichever user uh, phone number you give me i'll give you how much data is remaining if you give the phone number i'll tell you what is the balance of that particular phone number that's all i want okay so how do i uh, establish that with respect to uh, android here okay uh, create a fragment that's all create a fragment to show data balance create a fragment to show uh, account balance okay and uh, uh, in the main page call both the fragments into one place that's all no okay so that's how do you call that okay so what should the activity tell the fragment activity should pass what is the phone number okay and what will the fragment do the fragment will receive that phone number through the arguments 
do the operation, set the value. That's all. Okay, all I need to do in the main activity is call that fragment and I'll be able to see what's your balance. I hope you get this right. So this is how uh, a transaction works. So I think I've explained it uh, enough. So if you have any questions, uh, please do ask guys. Otherwise, uh, please hold on while I mark your attendance.